Could you tell me a little bit about yoga? Yoga? Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> yoga. Well, I do, I teach every Monday night. But yoga is, um, it's a way of life. It's, um, it gives you a sense of being, I suppose, in the universe where you are. Um, it's not just what's so well known as, of course, as the asanas, the, the uh, hectic ones practice, but actually yoga there's a lot more to it than that. And so that's what intrigued me really. How do you actually get to the? How do you get to that core? It's not just a physical core; it's spiritual as well. And teaching once a week is not. <laughs> it's on the way. Last week we had a lovely 94 year old Maya from New York. Lovely woman. And she taught us her keep fit routine because she had been a dancer. Her mother had worked with a yoga lady from Poland in 1920. And she then continued the practice. But she kept reiterating, which is absolutely true, 15 minutes a day and your life will change. Uh, so doing that practice is really important. I think it's the very notion of just doing the practice itself, whether, whether or not you do any movements or anything. It's, it's setting that time aside in one's life. Like, you know, we, set so many, we have so many hours for sleeping. We really should have so many hours or moments for, for yoga. I think the world would be a very much better place then. I'd love to see yoga being taught at schools, uh, where the body's so kind of, you know, so flexible. And, and still, they're all different. And everyone is different. Every single body in this world is different. So when you see these huge, huge classes with everybody doing this, um, I don't think you can really, you can't really get It's surface, it's surface, it's not. Yoga is not surface. Yoga is right deep inside us. So, for me yoga is an important way, it's a way of life. I mean, a lot of yoga people, they get so obsessed and then they go in completely into yoga. But for me, because of my great passion of creating works, you know, making beautiful things for the world, I, uh, it, it's a balance. I have to strike a balance. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's more difficult. At the moment, it's a little tricky. It'll pass. Um, but that's what, you have, that's what I have to... A range. I suppose I haven't been on a, you know, when you do these yoga retreats, when you go for a week and all you do is yoga, and it's the most luxurious thing to do. And drink lovely tea and eat lovely food is, um, it's the most wonderful thing. To, and with lovely people, it's always a great treat. I haven't done that for a while. Um, I've been so busy, but uh, it'd be nice to do. I mean. I get, when I go to go, I do a bit of, try and do a bit there. But it's a, it's a wonderful world, yoga. Oh, <laughs> Who made your, your outfit? Oh, the, 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 the long johns, the thermal, it's thermal underwear. It's from, it's from Uniqlo, it's unisex. And they do it, well they did last year, they had every colour of it, every colour you can imagine. Orange, pink, purple, green, red, blue, yellow. I guess I went for the pink, but they are actually very effective as well. Um, do you like these ones? Very nice. Is that the new Uniqlo? No, these are from Kokontozai. So how does it feel to teach yoga in a space like this? Oh, that's the 
coach on the floor, the sponsored floor that the tiling company, you know, they'd have some photographs done. So it's fabulous. It's a wonderful floor. And of course the colours of the rainbow. So you can choose your colour. We, well, we usually do it on this bit, so we're going from green to yellow to orange. Rarely get red. And that, of course, the blues are never touched because it's all the furniture. But um, no, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful floor. And of course, originally it was paint. It was just a painted floor. And then they laid this, and it's now it's. And then you're sitting right here. We are right, at, you know, in the skies in London, overlooking. I think you. Yes, you can see the the shard going up. It's getting bigger. It's growing. Oh, is this the new architectural piece? The it's, going to, it's going to be the tallest building in Europe. Yeah, sure it is. And is this is a and I shared in Monday night with a friend of mine called Ali, who should come to the house, Ali because we train together. So when I'm away, she teaches. And then when, so that's, we share it, it's good. So you can, because obviously with this, something like this, you need continuity. And Zandra's wonderful, I mean, she just lets us use this. Because I could do it in my studio, but my studio is too full, really. Where did you train? I trained with, um, The, um, oh, I forgot what's called that. This is with Angelica Groman and Sama Fabian, two yoga teachers who came together and we did a four year course. Wonderful. So we have to do exams and learn things. And Anatomy, physiology, anatomy, yes, physiology philosophy. Yeah. Oh, the netty pot? The netty pot, no, I mean, that was recommended, no, no. But it was a very nice course, because it was, it was called the Orolab, that's what it was called, the Orolab. And um, it was, how can I say, not relaxed, it was kind of relaxed. It wasn't strict, because you see, I don't think yoga should be strict. I think that's frightened so many people. Oh, you've got to do it this way and you've got to do it that way and you can't do this and you can't do that. A great friend of mine, Sally Ann, who teaches here on a Wednesday, who's brilliant, she said, every time you're going in the wrong direction, keep going because that's, that's when you really get into yoga, which I thought was wonderful. That is. Rather than this thing of, you know, the strict nastiness. And, mm. and it's all the bits in between that are important. And, well, and the breathing and... Um, but you grow to love it, don't you? I mean, it's Absolutely. Well, down here I should lay out. I usually lay about three. This is the timing for the evening, as you can see. Um, it's clicking away. And uh, the class is from 6.30 to 8. Monday nights at Sandra's penthouse in 79. To 85 Bermondsey Street, South East 1, London, UK, Universe. Yep.